Just a wrap up of the work session and the council meeting for the city of Grand Rapids for Monday, August 12th, 2019. The work session uh, initially was going to have Nick Hansen in for the YMCA, but instead we have Barb Baird in to talk about the uh, geo bonding uh, process that we had gone through earlier in the day, uh, selling bonds for the city of Grand Rapids to the tune of $1,585,000 at an interest rate of 1.98%, which is some of the lowest uh, finance bonds that uh, we've had out there in my 14 years on the uh, council. I've had four bidders out there that uh, were interested in that, and with the bid process, Ellers, who represents the city of Grand Rapids, uh, went out to the authorities, and they also reaffirmed Grand Rapids AA- rating. So uh, with that, what that means is 84% uh, of the city's debt is payable, will be paid off in 10 years or less. So uh, that's a unique position for a lot of uh, communities to be in, and Grand Rapids is fortunate to be one of those communities that has been able to manage that debt uh, to the standpoint of uh, we do not have any long, long-term debt out there. As I said, 84% of our debt will be paid off in 10 years or less. Uh, with that, at the regular uh, meeting, uh, we had a long consent agenda. I'm not going to really go through some of that. If you want to know all of the consent ones that's on there, turn in, tune into the, our radio show tomorrow morning at uh, 830 at KOZY, and we'll get that. But I did want to talk about uh, some of the uh, initial ones. The fire department was in, gave a update from the fire department, talked about a new truck that we are getting out there. Uh, it's replacement. Uh, they've worked over the last two years to reduce that cost. The, initially, the cost of the truck that they were looking at was going to run somewhere in the neighborhood of $850,000. They got that cost down to $599,000 and some loose change, um, which was a lot of work on behalf of the truck crew that was out there working with a vendor and working with equipment manufacturers to get equipment from different places for that truck. And in the next... Um, uh, eight, ten months, that truck will be coming in that will continue to uh, keep our fleet updated with uh, new equipment as we've moved out some old equipment that is uh, 27, 28 years old. Uh, Robin Tay, Community Development, was in, talked about a preliminary development agreement uh, with Samuel Herzog. Uh, unique opportunities LLC. If you're going out 21st Street, you turn at Target and you head up towards the airport, you get up to 7th and you've got them apartment buildings right on the corner of 7th and 21st. Uh, right across the street from that, they're looking at uh, building a 48 unit. Uh, 12 units would be uh, subsidized housing and uh, 36 would be market rate housing and they are out of Fergus Falls. They're interested in coming into the Grand Rapids area. We have the unique opportunity to start filling some of these shortages that the city of Grand Rapids is in from a housing standpoint. I think Rob Mate talked about um, the need for units. We're, we're short about 190 to 230 units in Grand Rapids, still needed with uh, about a quarter of those units in the affordable housing range. When I talk about affordable housing, we're talking about um, incoming teacher that's looking at uh, hiring on with school district 318, they would qualify for those type of housing uh, projects where they could go in there and, and it would be based on their income and stuff. So it's, it's, um, it, it is a narrow range, but there are a lot of people out there that can qualify for those, those housing subsidies in there. And that's just one way that the city can help support uh, the retention and the recruitment of good people into the community to fill a lot of the jobs that are needed in this community and that the uh, person coming in knows that there is going to be an affordable place where they can lay their head at night. Under engineering, Matt Wegworth was in. Uh, the Horn Bridge is uh, in need of some um, upgrades on it. The last time I think our city administrator, Tom Pagel, said last time we'd done any work on the Horde Bridge was on uh, 1999, so 20 years ago. So we're looking at doing a little bit of a facelift to the deck and stuff of that. So uh, that's going to start and you know, be done sometime in September. So look for that. There will be some slowage of traffic flows over there. It'll be down to one lane each direction or whatever it is at times as uh, they do that deck repair. Uh, once again, Barb Baird come in and she talked. Uh, Rebecca Kurtz was up from Ellers and uh, we already talked about uh, the debt that we had financed, you know, for our projects for this year. Uh, so 
With that, I'll move on to information technology. We're in the process of replacing some of the computer stuff in our mobile squads. Uh, it's like a roving office so that we can keep our officers out on the street more versus having to come in and do a lot of their paperwork. We have the information technology and computers and stuff in their squads so that they can do that. We're going to be replacing, there's 18 squads, so we're going to be replacing six of those units this year at a cost of $16,236, which is under the $18,000 that was budgeted for it. Uh, it's actually done a year early, and we will get some use out of those uh, for some other back end areas that need support over the year. And then next year we'll replace six on its regular schedule and we will actually extend the life of six of those uh, car computer um, monitors uh, for the last six a year. But then at that point in time, instead of trying to do 18 in one year, uh, we'll have a bump year where there is none and then we'll start the process all over. So every four to five years there'll be a rotation where they start coming up and it's a little easier for a council to budget versus looking at seventy-five, eighty thousand dollars at at a crack to replace those those computers. Uh, Linda Gray was in, talked a little bit about uh, security needs at the hospital and they had two people apply for that lead position out there and through the interview process Gary DeGrio was selected as the hospital lead security. Uh, that'll take effect actually tomorrow, uh, August 13th and uh, we thank uh, Gary for his work that he does out there. I know he's been doing that as the lead for a while so uh, it's time that he be recognized and moved up to that lead position. So with that, we look forward to seeing everybody in uh, two weeks on the 26th. Um, for those of you that got an opportunity to get out and see the parade, thanks for coming into Grand Rapids. We hope you had a great time. I know the weather was certainly warm uh, and it was sunny, so it was nice for the parade. Uh, and uh, the crowds, I thought, were as bigger, bigger than I've seen at the Tall Timber Days. and. Uh, Another opportunity coming up this week, starting Wednesday, the Itasca County Fair is taking place. I drove by the fairgrounds last night just to take a look, and they've already got some of the equipment in there last night at 6 o'clock, so they'll be setting up. I'm sure they were setting up today and tomorrow, and the fair will open up on Wednesday. Take a look at the paper and see what would interest you from uh, Senior Citizens Day to Kids Day uh, to Armband Day uh, to stock car racing at some of the nights in different classes and stuff. And take that opportunity to get out and go walk around the fair, have a little fair food, visit with some people you may not have seen in quite some time, but uh, enjoy the remainder of the summer. Uh, we look forward to seeing uh, the high school programs are getting started with their fall programs, so keep that in mind that coming up here in a few weeks, we look forward to seeing a lot of you folks out at a uh, sporting event as the football season and the other fall uh, sports seasons kick off in the Grand Rapids area. And be careful when you're driving. Uh, when we start into the school seasons coming up, it's always a big safety concern around the school areas to make sure that uh, people are observant for little ones that don't necessarily look both ways, they just decide to cross the street. So safety is a big concern. With that, uh, get out and have a good night, and we'll see you in two weeks.